All right, so as you can see, the Fortnite Mecha Pop Pack is still in the item shop as of this video. So today's date is June 20th, and this actually expires tonight. So this may be your last chance to claim this Mecha Pop Pack. I'm gonna actually buy it right now and do a mini review and gameplay on it real quick because it's been in the shop for what, months now? Way back even in Chapter 3 Season 2, it was out there. So like I said, this expires tonight and we're actually getting a brand new pack and this is what it looks like right here. So I'll do a full gameplay and review on this. I believe it's called the Skate Park Royalty Pack, but don't quote me on that. That's just what I saw. So again, this pack should come out tonight and the Mecha Pop Pack should go away tonight at the item shop reset. Now, I think I've bought every single Save the World starter pack that we've had so far, but I also think you can still buy them after they leave the item shop. Let's just look real quick. So if we go to store and we type in Fortnite, let's see if any old Save the World packs show up. Okay, maybe not. I thought once in a while they'll come back at a reduced price, but I wouldn't bank on it, I guess. And sometimes we've actually seen them come back from a Save the World pack into the item shop and then people get really upset. So I don't know, if you don't have a chance to buy this tonight, I wouldn't say it's 100% coming back, but I would hope Maybe, just maybe, it would be back in some way, shape, or form. But I don't know. I'm not going to risk it, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. So as you can see, it is quite expensive. $16. Wow. You do get 1,500 V-Bucks, but you have to complete challenges in Save the World to do it. Now, the good thing about this, if you don't already own Save the World, this gives you Save the World. But if you already have Save the World, you get nothing for it. So that's one of the huge selling points of this $16 price tag. So for me... Having already owned Save the World and getting nothing in return, it's kind of not worth it unless you truly, truly love the skin. So let's see what we got here. It's Mecha Pop. It says beep, click, beep. Do you like my robot sound? And then the Pop Pack back bling. Kind of looks like it could be reactive, but it doesn't say anything about reactivity. And then the pneumatic Pop Axe. Okay. Well, I'm hoping at least one of these things does something cool. I can see that cog right there is turning. So that's something at least. It's animated, right? So let's go ahead and buy this and see what happens. Hopefully something is unique about it. Here we go. All right, so with tax, it was actually $17.11 for me. Now, wait a second. I just bought it and it didn't give me anything. There it is. I was going to say, hey, hold on a second. So on the left, it says, thanks for saving the world, Commander. Complete your first Storm Shield defense mission, if you haven't, to get your loot. Okay, Mecha Pop Challenge Pack. I'll show you how to access those in a minute. Here's the skin. Mecha Pop himself. His back bling, which I hope is reactive, as I said, and the pickaxe. All right, so let's go to save the world real quick, and then we'll do the full review. Okay, so I just logged in, and it's telling me I got a gift, but this is just from the pack, I believe. Let's just take a peek. What the glitch is this? My screen! I can't even see what that says. Is this, these were collected? I don't know, the words get cut off there. What is this? Why is it like that? Okay, well, I don't know what this is, but we're gonna hit collect and close. Okay, there we go. Now, just of note, when you purchase Save the World through one of these packs, you don't get this. So as you can see down there, it says, this is a Founders Pack Reward. You only got these if you bought the Founders Edition of Save the World, which is not even available anymore. On eBay, you can sometimes find some rare codes for it, but as of right now, as far as I know, you can't buy it. But if you did buy it, you can see that tomorrow, for example, I'm going to get, what's that, 150 V-Bucks. So every once in a while, you get a lot of V-Bucks, up to 1,000, I believe. Pretty cool. So this is what I get today. Nothing really special. Okay, so this is the main screen that you see in Save the World. So this is actually where you want to be on the Quest tab. And if you go down to Quest Log in the bottom right, it's going to show you all your quests that you have. So every time I do one of these reviews, I get a million comments because I am so lazy. So look at this. Here's the Mecha Pop starter bundle. So you have to do daily quests. So one daily quest gets me 100 V-Bucks, three daily quests, 200, and then all the way up until I claim my 1500. So right now, I have the Mecha Pop starter challenge pack. I've got the Robo Kevin pack. I've got Lars, Lockbot, Robo Ray, Machinist Mina, Powerhouse, Samurai Scrapper, Metal Team Leader. That's nine packs that give me V-Bucks. I need to do some grinding. Now, of course, you can access your character in here, just like you can your real locker. There he is right there. 
can put them on in the Save the World locker, which is a little different looking. All right, but let's go back to normal Battle Royale and we'll check them out. So I'll be completely honest, I don't think I've ever seen anyone run this skin in game. Not even one time have I encountered it. So I don't know if he's just not popular, if people didn't want to waste that much money on just one skin, or maybe they already own Save the World and they didn't want to bother. I've got the Hot Ride Glider here, one of my favorites in the game. It is reactive, pretty sweet. I'm gonna land at my tree over here, but it looks like someone's coming down there with me. He's gonna poach my tree. He is. He's landing down in my spot. Are you kidding me? So first of all, I have no idea where that guy went. Second of all, what happened to the color of my skin? He's supposed to be red. I mean, that looks like coal black. Oh, wait a minute. What if I go in the light? Okay. Oh, there he's red. Okay, is this supposed to happen? Now I'm very confused. I mean, that is a jet black color. Tell me that's not black. I wonder if this is a secret reactivity. That's actually pretty sweet. So you can see that the pickaxe... Oh, that guy just ripped it. The pickaxe lights up. That's really cool. The back bling has that blue glow in it too. And even his helmet. It looks like he's got some kind of canister stuck in his helmet. Let's see if the pickaxe has a contrail. Yeah, it's got that light blue effect. Okay, here comes the sun out. Let's see if I turn red again. What a splash effect. Yes, it's that light blue shockwave effect. I love that. It's nice. It looks like the pickaxe is dripping some blue liquid. Can you see that? Right there. Some blue liquid. Almost like that slurp juice or whatever it is. It's kind of neat. And the cog of the clock almost does turn. You can see right there. Let's see if anything happens when we swing. It kind of does sound like a clock when you swing it. I was trying to see if that pressure gauge there does anything, but I don't see it. Wow, so he's got two ginormous lights on the front. One on his chest and one on his face. Here's what it looks like when you aim down sights. So his arm is a little bulky there. Covers up a little bit of the gun. Same thing for the shotgun. And the SMG, yeah, so that... I don't know, that mechanical piece near his shoulder joint. It's just a little bit large. So I came here to Battle Lab, and he still turns a blackish color when you go in the shade. So you can see red, and then black. I can't tell if this is a glitch or if it's supposed to do this. Because like I said, there are skins that are supposed to be a color scheme, but they actually turn this black color due to a glitch. So I don't know if this is one of them. If not, that's kind of cool that he can literally change colors in the dark. He becomes a stealthy robot. I honestly have no idea if it's supposed to do this or not. All right, let's see if he's reactive. So first of all, I'm going to heal myself. Doesn't look like anything happens there. I was hoping the pressure gauge on the back bling or his face would do something, but it doesn't look like it. Let's toss a bot down. Here we go. Nothing on one. Uh, nothing on two. How about on the pickaxe? No. Nothing on three. Somehow I'm not thinking anything happens. There's four. We'll try to get a pickaxe in with the fifth one. For a second it lit up there, but uh, it's probably just my mind playing tricks on me. I don't think you can destroy this, so let's see. Yeah, there's the nice splash effect. Actually, ooh, look at this, okay. So look at the gauge on the pickaxe. You can see the blue arrow is to the left. Now watch when I hit something. It goes all the way up into the red. That's cool. A little bit of secret reactivity there. So it does have a nice glow effect. Obviously way more noticeable in the shade. Watch this. Look at that. Everything glows quite nicely there. It looks like even when you move, that gauge goes up. 
I can see it weeble wobbling. Yeah, even when you jump. Okay. So is it the best skin ever? No. But is it a runnable, usable skin? Yeah. It's not too bad. So there you go. Like I said, this is probably your last chance to buy this skin because the item shop does reset tonight and we will get the brand new Save the World starter pack, which I'll also do a full gameplay review on. So there you go. Is this worth the price? If you don't have Save the World, I would say yes. If you do have Save the World, well, then you better really, really enjoy this skin. Otherwise, I don't think it's quite worth the cost. Now, again, you do get 1,500 V-Bucks, which is more than every other pack has given in the past. So 1,500 V-Bucks would cost you what? About $12. So even in that regard, it's still kind of not worth it unless you truly love this skin. Like I said, though, definitely not the worst Save the World pack we've ever had, but not the best. It's a mix. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.